As the US radar picked up planes that were not theirs, they sent out some of their finest P-51 pilots to go intercept. And soon the prey so plain he shut his throat for it. He saw fighters flying up the head, but he didn't go for them because he knew the bombings were nearby. He opened fire, but he nearly missed it, and the bomb didn't go down, so he didn't have to come back for it. As soon as he was zooming down, he saw another bomb. He opened fire, and this time it went down. He looked for another, and right in front of him, there was another. So he opened fire, and so he left the last one. It went down. Now he was getting away from the bombs. He saw that he had a fuck off one out in six. But no matter how much maneuvering he did, he wasn't able to shake it. So what he did is just hurt to the best and hope that he would just leave him alone. After a while of maneuvering and turning and weaving, he decided that it was a little let him go, so he tried to get one and go to one of the bullets. One night he started opening the fire with him and he tried to dodge his barrage. He dodged most of the bullets, but some of them hit him. Luckily, it wasn't enough to bring him down. Then he saw an ME262 right in front of him, so he opened fire, and luckily he missed, so he turned back around to face it again. He skillfully went above them and then dived down on them, and got on their six, then he opened fire. As soon as he was behind an ME262, he opened fire and perfectly landed his bullet on target. After it went down on a massive fireball, he went for the other. When the other ME262 was turning, he opened fire and it went down on a massive fireball. He saw another bomber, so he went straight for it. He opened fire. Luckily, it went down. But unluckily for him, he got shot up and he had to go back and land in Pearl. Although his gas tank was on fire and he has fighters all around him, he tried to land at Pearl. But what happened next was shocking.
The fire got to the fuel, and then it went boom.